Hello everyone and welcome to today's demonstration session. So for today's session, I'll be going through with you an integration between Aptos and Coupa using Vocato. So the use case for this demonstration would be to synchronize Aptos agreements into Coupa contracts and in the process creating all the necessary Coupa uh, objects like suppliers uh, and supplier lines which are related to the contract itself in Coupa. So before I go ahead and and show you how this works, you know, I'd like to talk about a brief overview of Wakato's platform. So in Wakato, we have three main things, triggers, actions, and recipes, right? So recipes are basically integration workflows. So the entire page that you see here on the left, this entire list of things, these are all steps in a recipe, right? And in a recipe, we have triggers and actions. So every recipe starts with a trigger, right? What is a trigger? A trigger is basically Wakato, a thing in Wakato that goes out and listens for changes in your external API. So in this case, we are looking at new or updated objects in AIC or Aptus. So whenever a new object is you know created or updated in Aptus, Wakato is going to get triggered by it, and we're going to create a job from it. And based on the information that is stored in that job, you know we're going to go ahead and run a sequence of actions. Right, all these actions you see here, and these actions are basically going to use the data that we that we cached in the job to actually execute, and you know we can pass data along from one action to another in a linear fashion. Right, so actions can be you know create, read, update, or delete actions, and you know we can we can select from a whole host of uh, different connectors that Workato supports. So in this recipe, I'm using the um, Aptus connectors as well as the Coupa connector. Yeah. All right. So now that you, you know, roughly understand how, you know, Workato and uh, recipes work, you know, I'll go ahead and show you how the integration works. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, you know, start by creating a new agreement in Aptus, right? So, click on new agreement and selecting a particular record type and going ahead and creating a Workato a new Workato test agreement, right? And we're gonna change the select an account, right? As maybe ABC Corporation. And for the start date, let's select the 28th of February. And for the end date, let's select the 28th of March. So we have one month. And I'm gonna hit save and submit request. Okay. All right. So now that I've created the new agreement, you know, I can see the various uh, fields here. I'm going to look at, I'm going to search for this particular new agreement in Aptos, uh, in Coupa. All right, so let's do a search. And, okay, I don't see the contract yet. Well, why is this so? Well, because in Wakato, you know, we have triggers which work on a five minute uh, polling interval. So earlier when we just refreshed this page, you know, that five minute polling interval was not a uh, was not hit yet, so therefore data has not been fetched over. But we have a new poll that's pending now, so if I you know go ahead and force this to refresh, I need to check now. If I go ahead and force this to poll for new events, you know it says that it's found one job, right? And if I go ahead and refresh the page. Yep, it's gonna tell me that we've created a new uh, contract in uh, Coupa, right? With the com contract ID of nine zero eight, and with the parent Aptus contract ID as DAB two B, which is you know exactly the same here, right? Sorry, exactly the same here. Okay, so if I go back to the contracts page in Coupa and I refresh this page. I should see that hey there was a new contract and the supplier was ABC Corporation. So, you know, what if uh you know I go ahead and you know make some modifications on this particular agreement in Aptus, right? Let's say I want to, you know, change the start and end date, right? So I go ahead and edit this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the different end date. So for example, I want it to end in April instead, right? 
so now it's, it's supposed to be April instead of March so right here we say that it's in March now we want it to be in April so I'm gonna hit uh, save and submit request Wait. and now I can see that it's in April so let's hit check now and refresh the page okay so now I see that I've updated 908 at 710 and if I go back to my contract page and I refresh this I will see that it is now in April so you know that's uh, you know the end of this demonstration session you know basically I've shown you how to move after's agreements over into Coupa contracts well and uh, yeah, I'll be providing the links to the recipe. So all you need to do is you know create your own Workato account, and you know I'll, once with this recipe ID, I can actually share the recipe with you. And using that, you can you know go ahead and look at the recipe in greater detail, and then make any modifications that you wish. Uh, if you like to you know contact us, you know you can always reach out to us via email or uh, via phone call. We'll be you know happy to assist you with uh, with this. All right. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you for uh, paying attention to my presentation. Goodbye.